Hey everyone, Tim again, timscomputerfix.net. Ooh, look what we have here today. We have an Inwin computer. Nice looking little custom build here. Interesting case from Inwin. Look at this. Top mounted power supply, sideways. Wow, are we going back to this now? Top mount? Don't know. Honestly, in my opinion, it doesn't look too bad. It's heavy. This is one heavy computer. Your tinted side panel, tempered glass. It opens by pressing down its little slot right here and opening it up. And just to give everybody a little bit of a look of what's inside there, we have a sort of a awkwardly mounted uh, radiator here. Water cool, 140 millimeter rad. So I guess Inwin gives you a nice cage here up top to, to mount that. I guess that is could be considered the top exhaust. There's no no exhaust vents at the top. Everything is sort of in the back here, vents. So that's where the air is going to be pushed out from. Hey, it's a different design for sure. No doubt. Interesting down here, here's your video card. And interesting, you wonder what this is. All this is is just an aesthetic. This is just a rail that gets installed that kind of gives it a better a look aesthetically. But here's the problem with this computer, and it's interesting where the power supply is in this. And I say that because I have it all plugged in, power's on. We hit the power button. Nothing. So the first thing we're going to look into is power. Power supply. This is why this got brought into my shop. It was dead. So we're going to have a look at that now. I'm going to lay this down. And we're going to uh, test with a, another known good power supply. All right, looking here. I mean, it looks like that the power supply is plugged in correctly on the board. We have the uh, processor power looks like it's plugged in correctly so nothing visual that stands out that is by the way an EVGA power supply hmm it's a usually a really good brand well let's test with another power supply okay This one. Okay, so this looks like a big crazy bit of mess. Here's my test power supply. And I have the 24 pin plugged in and I have the CPU power plugged in. This all goes back to my test power supply. And I have the video card plugged in to my test power supply when doing this always be sure that you have this in a stable spot that you don't want it to slide and fall this is this is you know always be careful when doing this you know don't bump this don't knock it don't have it slide in because it's heavy you don't want it to knock anything inside here so all you know the old power supply cables are just laying here uh so let's see let's see what we get here but, and everything else I have left alone. We don't need to plug nothing else in. Uh, we just want to quickly check if it powers on and if it gives us a little post. And if it does, it's fine. Even if your fans don't spin on your radiator, that's okay. We'll give it just a quick post and then we'll shut it down to verify that it's the power supply, okay? So let's turn it on. And let's hit the power button. Oh, we got power there. We got lights here. Uh, fans are spinning. So it definitely was the power supply. Let's see if we get a quick little post here. Let's see. There's our post. So I'm going to shut this down. So we have now verified that we have a bad power supply. So now what we're going to do is we're going to 
figure out what size power supply that is to see about getting another one in and we'll see about getting it installed let's just pop open this this side on this end wind case here oh interesting look at there there's a three terabyte three terabyte drive here ah a 650 watt evga supernova it's not bad it's bad i'm really shocked to see an evga power supply give out yep we just have to pull all these cables get another power supply ordered shouldn't be a bad little job there that's interesting how that's mounted now in that case huh that'd be that'd be a little bit of a different different little repair as far as uh you know where power supplies are usually mounted all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go online i'm going to look to see what's available see what i could get work up a price get that to the customer i'll get the part ordered and when we go to put this in I'll take you along for the ride. Okay, got the power supply in. Let's get started. Oh no, this is not going to work. Can you believe this? Listen to this. Well, there's something rattling around in this. So I'm certainly, certainly not using this power supply. So maybe this time I got an EVGA power supply that doesn't have something rattling around in it. Let's crack this thing open and hope for the best on this. Six hundred and fifty watt gold. Ah, uh, see if we got the cables. All right, here we go. Got the cables. Yeah, that's pretty cool how they. colored shroud here which won't be seen but that's okay wait ah uh, I don't hear anything rattling around let's take this out of the package here we go oh yeah baby this is this one this is the one gold 650 that's what we want so let's get this changed out in this in-wind computer so all we have to do is just kind of feed everything up through so this goes to probably the looks like the fans RGB stuff so we'll disconnect that leave that hanging this is uh, something else here I'm not sure what that goes to but we'll be sure to plug that back in all right them two so that's two peripherals there all right let's see what we got Tell you what it might be best if I pull this Let me get this out of there. All right. And let's pull some of this up in here. What is this here? That's your 24 pin. Be sure I'm not pulling up anything else with it. Okay. Here we got the CPU. This is all on our dead power supply that we've confirmed. And what do we have here? We have the power to the, the drive that's out. Okay, and then we have down here the VGA. It's kind of stuck in here with all of the other. 
so now we have all of the cables free from the board okay <laughs> pull this out i'll show you so we're just going to take out these four screws and slide this puppy out all right it just comes out nice and easy like this nice and easy Oop, there's something kind of wrapped up here okay that looks good Okay. Well, that's it. So that's removed. Let's get the other one put in. Yeah, so connected all the peripherals here. One peripheral, two peripheral, and one to the hard drive. Got everything connected up in here. Looking good. I got all the cables fed through the proper slots. So it's just turning around and let's see about getting those connected. Yeah, so they had the 24 pin running up through here and then down. I want to I want to bring it through here. I think I want to I think it would be better if it was brought through here. And then we can get that plugged in and move that out the way. a little more there we go I felt that go in so a quick look yeah yeah yep so yeah I think that looks better a lot better but it comes in through there it was coming through the top here earlier now I want to get this one here plugged in yeah it looks kind of cool doesn't it yeah give him a little bit of bling there a little bit let's see this across that's gonna go yeah like this hmm. oh these are so much fun aren't they so much fun oh come on give me some more light it's tough to see There we go, that's it right there. <laughs> Tough to see that. There we go, I think we got it. Yeah, we got it now. Looks good. These cables are all, uh, they, they weren't worried about cable management in, in the beginning, honestly. All right, and then we got this down here. We're gonna go with the VGA cables. There. And there. So those are all plugged in. I'll zip these up. I'll I'll zip these guys. I'll zip these guys here up. Whenever I confirm that this thing works, double and triple check my connections all around this board. Good. that looks good CPU looks fine let's turn it around one more time I know this is a mess but we'll all my peripherals are plugged in so all I got to do now really is plug this guy up Plug this guy up and uh, let's give it a test. Okay, I've got all my power and everything plugged in. Oh, cool, look at that. The gold standard has a nice EVGA emblem on the back of the power supply. That's kind of cool. Yep, and we got uh, looking like some, um, 
some RGBs going there on the board as usual so and again I'll take one last inspection everything looks good everything's plugged in properly let's power this thing on boom we've got power baby all right now we need is a post now which should happen relatively soon fans are spinning pumps operating one second here let's get a post There's our post, and we should get a load screen coming up. Yep, yeah. and we're loading windows. I think we're going to be good here. Fans work, pump works, RGBs work. And so what I'm going to do, guys, before I end this video, I'm going to tidy up these cables, put the covers back on and all that, give you guys a quick look at, uh, there we go. Give you guys a, a quick look at uh, what this looks like when it's complete. But uh, look, we've repaired this computer by swapping out the power supply. Power supply was bad. EVGA power supply at that. That's rare. All right, so here it is, the final product here of this uh, in-win case. Um, this case is so-so with wire management as far as uh, wire management being wire management friendly. It's not the best case in the world to work with, but... We got it going, looking good. Kind of a neat little front view of this. <clears throat> I would imagine, I would have hoped you could turn those off because those might get a bit annoying. They're a bit bright. Should be, uh, should be happy to get this back. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.